Hi everyone, I'm Trofman from Overclocking TV and I'm here at the HWBot anniversary OC gathering with TL. Hi TL, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, but tiring. <laughs> a bit tired after four days of benching, right? Not just four days, it's been a week. Yeah, that's true, that's really like the Computex and the four days of benching. Um, yeah, actually, what do you think about this kind of uh, open benching, like uh, bench party events? Yeah, this is good. This is really good. Everybody is enjoy and benching together. Yeah. The, the, this, uh, these overclickers that are here, they are getting more and more professional. Um, there are, some are getting sponsored, some are getting uh, some uh, sponsored by big companies. Although, so what do you think about the overclicking community that is getting more professional and getting more like a niche sport rather than just a hobby? I would say it's getting a niche. But regardless of the sponsor, and it's really hard to get a chance to for all, everyone to bench together so this is rare, rare it'll be good if you have a more such event like this there, there was a lot of guys doing a lot of LN2 overclocking and as well a lot of modification you were actually doing modification on some graphic cards so what yeah. were you doing exactly over the, the past few days um, I actually mo um, modified the metrics for the voltage control and because there's some problem with my metrics uh, with the GPU tweak, so I had to do some rework. Yeah. So you basically fix something on the fly for the overclockers to reach higher frequencies and yeah. break world records. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> You're proud of that, huh? Uh, still running, <laughs> right? <laughs> So the, the, there was uh, eight pack and young pro that broke the Firestrike Extreme World Record. What do you think about that? That's awesome, really <laughs> awesome. Do you have a lot of respect for these kind of overclockers that uh, that do a lot of, uh, of pushing and tweaking over a few days just to get this kind of score? Yeah, that needs a lot of work and preparation to get everything right, and you need. Uh, Duking skill to get a score run at very efficiently, efficiently, yeah. Uh, we were all the covering live this uh, this event on Overclocking TV. What do you think about the live broadcast? Like the the cameras, the feedback from the screen, and the commentary. Uh, that's good. And the best part was the extreme edit part. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, extreme edit is some kind of. Uh, of a special guy, let's say like this. He's a good entertainer. <laughs> yeah, very good. He's very good in that. Um, that, that will, do, you, do you want to see more of this kind of event happening here in Taipei or maybe somewhere else in the world? In Taipei it would be good because you get a lot of... You have access to the, all the equipments here. But maybe not a very t good time zone for that. Because... Um, for US, it's like the other way around. Yeah, it's like 12 hours. Yeah, hours. yeah, yeah, that's right. So that that's for this kind of event, you need to take care of the people you invite, the the way you do it, you don't have to, to put time constraint, and you need to take care of the time zone you want for the coverage. Yeah. Um, uh, this uh, HJB bot is now 10 years. Um, how do you think that will be in the next few years for the overclocking community in HJB bot? Definitely. Yeah, it'd be good to see more people uh, enjoy the, this hobby. And that can definitely be an eSport thing, like with the live commentary, live teams, live follow-up on the, on the competitions and stuff like this, right? Yeah. So thank you, TL, for your time. I thank hope you. that uh, you had a great time here and uh, maybe see you around for one of the next few events here. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.